All right, everybody, I'm here with Simon Nielsen, and we are gonna be doing a deck tech on a spicy one here for your explorer choice. We got Teamer Transmogrify, so tell us all a little bit about how this deck works and why you chose to play it. Yeah, so uh, our half of the Team Handshake team, uh, okay. we got uh, Julian Wellman on our squad, and he's a like an incredible deck builder. Um, and he's like kind of obsessed with the uh, like transmogrify easy creativity style decks. Okay. Uh, so like he uh, he tried to like build that for Explorer and tried to come up with a version that like has enough grind power to actually be able to like uh, keep up with Red Black uh, mm -hmm. to play a fair game as well. So and this version does that job really well. Yeah, fair game, and then it also does some super unfair things. If we take a look, we got transmogrify, we have Luca, and we have Titan of Industry. That seems uh, not that fair if if you were to ask me. So tell us about uh, what these cards do. Yeah. So, like, Transmogrify and Lucas' minus two ability lets you turn one of your creatures into a random other creature from your deck. Yeah, random. Mm, yeah, I mean, <laughs> the only creature in your deck is Titan of Industry, so yeah. Mm. And when you hit that on turn three or four, like, that can be extremely massive. Did you just find that to be really good in the metagame, Titan of Industry, the best option that you had? Yeah, I mean, uh, the thing that Titan does is that there's a lot of, like, enchantments and artifacts that it can kill. Um, yeah. So, like, Witch's Oven or, like, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Mm. The shield counter is incredibly good against Red Flag. Like, given the 4-4 body is... And then, like, against um, decks like Spirits and Grease Fang, having reach is extremely important. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Just block Parhelion too. Exactly. I like that. Yeah, it does that. So we have the big creatures that we transmogrify mm -hmm. into. Now we have to get the creatures that we hit off transmogrify. So we have a slew of token generators. Tell us a little bit about like what the most important one is. Yeah, so uh, the idea here is that like you don't run any other creatures than Titan, so you just have like token generators that like uh, will get your creatures like cheat creatures into play, so to yep, speak. Yep. And I would say the most important ones are like the you know obvious like best cards here, like Fable of the Mirror Breaker and Aziga's Chariot. Yes. Like what these cards do is that like they let you play just a fair mid range plan. If you play turn three Fable into turn four Chariot against Red Black, like, that's really hard to keep up with. It's a lot of tokens. It is. It yeah. is. I would always kind of think the careful cultivation that you can actually do it on turn three. That's the innovation that I saw from your list that was really impressive like does that come up a lot for the yeah it definitely three? comes up a lot and it's also like when you play against it like how much are you supposed to worry about it because they just pass yeah. in turn two and it's like am i am i dead next turn like, you don't know yeah because <laughs> you could just be holding up interaction and instead you have that untap kind of go exactly off. exactly so we'll get to some of the interaction that you have now this is the removal suite and we have four fire prophecy a great card at tucking away titan if you draw it we have vaulted surge and a braid but I need to talk about the Akroan War. What is this card doing? I love this saga. I need to hear about it. Yeah, this is like a nice innovation pretty late in our testing process. Okay. One of the issues is that like we're a red deck, so like our interaction is mostly like damage based, and it's yeah. really hard to kill big creatures. Okay. So like we had struggles like figure out how do we do this. And then we realized that a Kron Wolf, you just steal their big thing. And then next turn, you play like Luca and minus two and their big thing, and it just goes away. They don't get to get it back. Yeah, and then they have to attack into your Titan. Exactly, right? yeah. It just it works out so beautifully. I love that tech. That's really sweet. So then we got the rest of the cards here to round it out. We kind of have these counters and counter spells. You have Spell Pierce, three of those, two make disappear. That's an interesting one for Explorer. <laughs> and then we have four Omen of the Sea, and then of course this is a Yorian deck. So tell us a little bit about this uh, you know, sweep of cards. Yeah, I think the Spell Pierces are the most important ones. We started out with not that many copies, but we found that like it's really good at protecting the combo. Because the opponent wants to like leave up a fatal push, that's just one mana. Yeah. Uh, but if you just like wait until you have spell pierce up, like the opponent has to like fear that and leave up three mana. They can't quite do that because yeah. that's very costly. Because again, you're also playing a fair deck with like chariots and fables and so on. Yeah. And you can counter other fables and other exactly. chariots, whatever you're it's playing. It's also against. like pretty good countering yeah. salties, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That seems pretty sweet. So last question I got for you, Simon. What are the decks that you want to play against, and what are the ones you kind of want to avoid with this strategy? Uh, I get anything. Just give me anything. Just I, I don't, anything. Yeah. Huh? I mean, I don't want to play against control. <laughs> I think like stuff like Rule is like, and Mono Green is like our best matchup. I don't okay. really expect many of those. But I think it does totally fine against Red Black and Jund and so on. All yeah. good matchups here with Simon has been confirmed. So this has been a deck tech with Simon Nielsen playing Teamer Transmogrify.